the athletics better. But right now, our, our system is broken, and it's unfortunate to see kids continually paying the price. We talked about the <laughs> suicide playing. It's incredibly disappointing because we want to see him play. Yeah, sure. All of a sudden, well, he is playing. All yeah. of a sudden, yep, he's starting. It, it was so bizarre. All of a sudden, he is coming out of the tunnel, and all of a sudden, he is not getting... One for two from the line. He does have nine rebounds in the game. So Oregon continuing this with this one, two, two, three quarter court pressure. And then falling back into half court man. Wow. Pass. What a look from Baugh to Wiseman for the yeah. When he's open, he makes it just about every time. Baugh driving right into the teeth of the defense. And then we've got a foul underneath. Ball driving on a Coro after a switch. Won't go down, but the follow will. And guess who? It's Wiseman again. Trace Tinkle and the Beavers getting ready to host Oklahoma in the second game. A couple of interesting teams who feel like they might be a little bit sneaky underrated. Sneaky better than people are giving them credit for. Boy, look at the work on the glass. And finally, Wiseman's uh, Sports Center here on ESPN, and Jay and I will have Oregon State and Oklahoma in the second game of the Phil Knight Invitational here in Portland, presented by State Farm. Penny possession, I think, for Memphis to get something, just get something good. Quinones almost lost his footing there. Wiseman from the free throw line. Uh, there we can see the Ellis with the steal for Memphis. Wiseman, a post touch. And he's got his first. Case a lot of different skills. Dickens from the elbow. Harris chasing it down. Wiseman. Oh. <laughs>